There is a new and growing trend out in the retail world that is terrifying CEOs, and it should be. It's something that's been going on for a little while, but the, well, the increase in this consumer behavior has a lot of people worried. What am I talking about? Well, let me let the CEO of Wayfair weigh in. Wayfair CEO is flagging an alarming change in consumer behavior. No kidding. The CEO is sounding alarm bells around a growing trend that is hurting profits. Wayfair is facing some unexpected financial headwinds. Well, I bet they are. The CEO, Niraj Shah, is calling out the source of the problem. The home goods company recently revealed in its second quarter earnings report for 2024 that its U.S. net revenue decreased by $55 million, which is substantial compared to the same period it, it had last year. Its gross profit, which is how much money the company made after costs, also shrunk by about 4.4% year over year. This isn't a new trend. The CEO says current trends mirror those of past economic crises. No kidding. In fact, if you check out a recent video I did right up here, telling you about the various markets that indicate we're about to head for a real estate crash, well, uh, you'll see some of the warning signs there as well. So in the earnings report, Shaw revealed that shoppers are changing how they spend their money, and the trend mirrors consumer behavior that was seen during the 2008 financial crisis. It's good to have historical data so you know what to look for in the future, and you can apply the lessons learned if you manage to retain any of those employees that worked back then, well, you manage to apply those lessons, you might be in better shape. Customers remain cautious in their spending on the home, and our credit card data suggests that the category correction now mirrors the magnitude of the peak to trial decline the, decline the home furnishing space experience during the great financial crisis. I don't want to call it what it is. It just depends on who's in leadership uh, at the top or who's in the White House as to what they call these moments in time, but the Great Recession of 2008 was the worst financial crisis in the U.S. since the Great Depression in 1929. During the 2008 recession, as the unemployment rate spiked due to the country losing 8.7 million jobs, consumers cut their spending and focused on increasing personal savings and tackling debt as they faced financial uncertainties, which was smart of them. Lack of housing affordability is hurting Wayfair in the pocketbook. During a recent earnings call, which discussed Wayfair's latest earnings report, Shaw said that the new home sales in the U.S. have tumbled up by 20% during the first five months of 2024, compared to the first five months of 2021. And existing home sales have declined by over 30%. Both of these trends, he claims, are having a negative impact on the company's sales. Well, I bet so. The last thing you need is uh, having uh, a significant decline across the board. As I mentioned, the real estate video I did just, well, earlier in the week, just, well, I think on Saturday, will probably reveal that we aren't even anywhere close to what is going to happen to the real estate market. We're starting to see everything from retail sales to home goods sales to durable goods just absolutely crater and people really buckling down trying to just survive uh, with staple goods across the board. While you've seen many of our peers that are impacted by housing uh, declined to an even greater degree than Wayfair at the end of the day, with housing turnover levels that haven't been as depressed since the great financial crisis, the market fatigue, fatigue weighs on everyone in the category, ourselves included. Now, again, a home goods store is going to suffer because people won't replace their home goods if they aren't moving, whether it be for rental purposes or for purchase purchasing a location. A lot of people exchange furniture at the same time they exchange houses, and that's simply not being done. Eventually, you'll get increased sales down the road because people will replace the things that are wearing out in their home, even though they may not have moved. But that's an incredibly increased period of time. And if a chair is good enough for five or six years, it might be good enough for up to 10 or more. Who knows? If it's built well, not that Wayfair stuff is built particularly well, but 
you understand. Currently, U.S. home prices are on the rise, which is not necessarily true, which is chipping away at housing affordability. Well, that is true. Uh, the second quarter of 2020 home prices, or excuse me, since the second quarter of 2020, home prices have increased by 28% and consumers have been pushing back. At the same time, interest rates have gone up dramatically because of supposedly inflation, but mostly because, well, they're just trying to put the stop on the wheels of an economy that could, if needed, move forward at a much better rate. Mortgage applications have decreased by 3.9% just last week, while mortgage rates remained almost almost 7%, according to weekly surveys. It's crazy. Shortly after Wayfair released its earnings report, its stock price declined by roughly 8%, and I think that's just an informed market that understands what's happening, which is probably why the stock market started to tank towards the end of last week. There's more here, and you can certainly go and read it. This is located over at the street, and it's worth reading. It's, in fact, it's worth checking in from time to time over at the street to just kind of understand what's going on in the broader financial markets and to look at individual segments and figure out what, you know, is going to be maybe going up rather than the sheer volume of things that will be going down. Now, all of this conversation is going to bring us to some questions like, where is the economy going? Are we skeptical about what the investment markets might look like? Are we looking at stocks and bonds? Well, that question you should actually direct towards a professional because I don't give any stock or financial advice. It's not my point of expertise. It's just something I pay very close attention to. I do know this, that when you start to see these types of items, uh, like durable goods, furnishings, and homes start to dry up sales-wise, it's a sign of a much bigger problem and one that we've been in for several years now. And we don't have any near future optimism by most people who are paying attention. Be that as it may, it brings me to some questions for you. What do you think is going on? Are your expectations similar to Mr. Shaw's over there at... Uh, at Wayfair, are you also concerned about what's happening as far as what your dollar buys? All of these are good questions. Also, do you think you're gonna be in the market for a home anytime in the near future? I mean, there's a lot of questions that go along with that one, as well as, have you noticed that you're paying 40% more for most everything and 25% more for food at minimum over the course of the last three years? It's actually higher than that, but I'm looking just at staple goods. It's a time to pay attention, folks. And uh, for your support, all I ask is a simple thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if you wouldn't mind sharing it around. Also, if you're looking for an amazing, amazing bunch of gear, you can check out beachpunk.us, my website, that actually fe features very good quality items that, well, may last for some time because you might need it. On that note, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, and until next time, see ya.